going on? That's not my doctor. I want to see my doctor. No, 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 no. Mr. Where's my Stone, doctor? I thought I've already explained this to you. Come on. You see? I'm your doctor now. Short notice? I'm actually surprised that you called after our last conversation. Yeah, I, I apologize. I, um... Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I attacked you out of my own guilt. Mm, well, guilt can be quite crippling in situations such as these. It was unfair to question you. Or your methods. Well, the important thing is that you're both ready to work with me. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm sorry that it took me this long to see it. It just... When Annie went through that, it really changed my life, and I did not know how to deal with it. Mr. Lavery, in no way did you contribute to Annie's behavior. Do you still think that she's faking insanity? Absolutely. Annie is pretending in order to avoid prison time. It's very common amongst criminals. But I have altered my treatment plan. In fact, I'm expecting a breakthrough very soon. Psst. Mr. Stone, are you there? You've been gone all night. Are you okay? Mr. Stone, if you're there, please answer me. Please. media outlets and tell them that our new ad campaign for Valentine's Day will be on their desks by 5 p.m. today. Reese, would you mind taking a look at my blueprints? I'm thinking of expanding my walk-in for more storage. Oh, sure. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Oh, Mom, Leah, why don't you just use what you've got? That's what my mom always told me. That's exactly what I am doing, honey. I'm using my walk-in for more storage. And we have Reese here. Why not take advantage of her? Uh, Randy, oh, I'm going to... Oh, my gosh. Are... A delivery for uh, Bianca Montgomery and Reese Williams? Yes. <laughs> All fine. I'll take thank this. You. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, are nice those... Ah, uh, yes, uh, yes, they are. They're our wedding dresses. Oh. oh, my gosh. This is perfect. We can try them on here, and then we can see what everybody thinks. Perfect. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse, I'm reminded of how painfully single I am. I, I can't wait to see what mine looks like. I know. Me you haven't either. seen your dresses before? No. Mm -mm. But we both love the designer. Yeah. Like Isaiah. Yeah. And we told her what we wanted. I can't wait to see yours, too. Let's I know. Do it. <laughs> uh, hold on. If you try those dresses on, the wedding is off. Frankie, I know you've been in to see Kendall. She looks better, right? Oh, see, your eyes are not playing tricks on you. Her color is looking good. Her capillary Excuse refill me, is. Dr. Hubbard? I don't appreciate you getting involved in my cases. The man was asking about his wife's condition. What would you have me do? Well, next time you come and find me. Right now, your job is over there, organizing your charts. Zach? Dr. Kravitz, you have a visitor in the main lobby. Is that necessary? Dr. Kravitz? My staff needs to respect the proper protocol, Zach. I find out about my wife. Well, unlike Dr. Hubbard, I don't want to give you any false hope. Take whatever you got. It's too soon right now to make any guarantees. All right, but she looks better, right? I mean, her color is better. It looks, looks like she's coming back to us. I'm simply trying to caution you. I have seen patients get stronger than Kendall and not make it. Now, if you want to be realistic... Yeah, I'll tell you what's real, her. David. I almost lost my wife. She fought her way back. I'm not losing her now. She got some good news. Call me. Are you going to take Mr. Stone's tray, too? I was told that he was transferred up here. Don't worry about him. We want you to focus on getting better. Yeah, but um, he used to visit me in my other room. Would it be okay if he visited me here? Mr. Stone won't be visiting anyone in the near future. What do you mean? I'll send something else to eat. No, I, if you could just tell me where my friend is, please. I just need my friend. Wait, no. No, wait. Oh, please. What did you do to him? What did you do to my friend? What changes are you planning to make to Annie's treatment plan? Oh, well, the specifics aren't important. What's vital is getting to the truth behind Annie's behavior. Okay. Um, what was it that, that made you believe that Annie was faking? Well, an accumulation of things. 
Prior to Oak Haven, Annie's behavior became very large and theatrical, as if she was trying to make a statement. And you're not there to monitor as well as we can. In-house, we've witnessed her going in and out of these delusions at very convenient times. But when she thought she was Emma, I, I, I swear she believed it. Ah, yet another showy, crazy act. But when she escaped, she knew exactly where to find you. She knew who you were, and her mind was sharp and focused. Please, uh, you've got to trust me. I've dealt with numerous cases such as this one. Well, if your treatment plan works, <clears throat> what's next? Annie will be fit to stand trial. Convicted and sent to prison where she can't harm anyone else. That is what you want, isn't it? Of course. Yeah, we, we just want to put all this behind us. Okay, well... Listen, I'm going to be late for my next session. Okay, well, um, thanks again for coming. And uh, honestly, we will cooperate from this point forward. Great. Okay. What's important is that we're all on the same page. Yes. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. She's gone. So, what do you think? <sighs> She's got an agenda. And Annie is definitely her target. You agree that Dr. Sinclair is out for Annie's blood? <laughs> definitely. She acts more like a, a DA trying to nail a conviction rather than a psychiatrist trying to rehabilitate a patient. What should we do? You talked to Jesse yet? No, we haven't talked to Jesse. We need some evidence that she's acting unethically, that she's breaking patient care laws. Well, definitely do whatever I can do to help. Thank you, Ted. I appreciate it. I know Annie hasn't made anyone's life very easy. Well, I gotta get to work before okay. Erica sends the bloodhounds to find me. Okay. See ya. See you later, huh? Good luck. Okay. Have a good day. What are you looking for? Medical databases. See what we can dig up on the esteemed Dr. Riley Sinclair. Mr. Stone. Are you there? I can't do this without you. That's it? That's really the reason that you were threatening to stop the wedding? Honey, you cannot try the dresses on in front of each other. It's bad luck. You don't know this? Oh, this place is cursed anyway. Mom, we don't believe in superstition, do we? Well, um, I, you know, the tailor's coming, so we've got to try them on somewhere. Okay, we can go to Zach's place. You can try them on there. And then we'll just keep you separated while the alterations are done. And after that, we can just continue with the wedding plans, the, the wedding shower. Oh, okay, great. We should probably call Greenlee as well. Why do you want to call Greenlee? I mean, isn't it enough that Greenlee is hoarding all the attention on your wedding day? Does she always have to be front and center? No, Erica, that's your job. To know that you're consistently blunt. Greenlee, this bridal shower is just as much for you as it is for us. Yes, everyone deserves to celebrate. Yes, but I'm sure that Greenlee's friends will throw her a bridal shower. I thought you were a friend, Erica. <coughs> uh, sorry, dry throat. Greenlee is part of the bridal shower, Mom. That's final. Don't bother giving me a gift. You've done enough. What about that set of knives you've been wanting for so long? <laughs> I do have the perfect place to put them. Don't tempt me. If she's about to get all psycho, I'm out of here. Too late. Erica, is there anything that we can help you with? No, I think I've done enough. I think Greenlee can do everything here from now on, and I'm going to take you two back to Zach's for that fitting. Go ahead. I have everything under control. Okay. Well, our new ad campaign for Valentine's Day must be sent out today before 5 p.m. And here's a list of everything else that needs to be done before the end of the day, and nobody should leave until it's finished. Pick up dry cleaning, organize 2008 invoices, sort shoes by color. You have shoes here? Of course I have shoes here. I'll have to be prepared for anything. 
Okay, I think that is our cue to go. Okay. <laughs>